You want to understand more about Tartaria? That's good. That's real good. All right, listen to this. So, the Tartarian Empire was an advanced civilization which once ruled in what we know today as Russia, but also spread out to the Americas. But when the empire was destroyed, they was removed from history and wiped off the map. This is the official Tartarian flag. They are the ones that built buildings like this, and like this, and yes, buildings like this. And they were the ones that built the so-called Tesla Tower long before Nikola Tesla. They are known for building buildings with Antiquatec, which is a natural atmospheric energy conductor, which produces free energy. And a lot of people ask, why would they remove this from history? Well, if you knew that in the past, we had free energy, electricity, and advanced technology, it would make you question everything we've been told about his story. Oh my days. I don't know who it is. And I don't know why, but somebody is telling a lie. You're trying to tell me that Tartaria was the name given by Europeans for an unknown region. Come on, brother. That don't even make no sense. It's in Europe. So let me see if I got this straight. You're trying to say that this was an unknown region to Europeans even though it's in Europe that you knew where China was India Germany France but you didn't know what was going on in this region so you named it Tartaria so from the Middle Ages right up to the 20th century you didn't know what was going on in Tartaria what in Tarnations is going on <laughs> the 20th century you mean the end of the last reset come on bruv 1901 is when you figured it out i'm sorry brother i'm not buying it oh my days so you want to understand more about tartaria and the last reset that's good that's real good all right listen to this the mystery that sparked the search what intrigued the internet was a declassified document by the CIA which mentions the deletion of this country's history which seems to have been located in the land of modern Russia, Siberia and Asia. And this is the official declassified CIA document. You can take a screenshot and read it for yourself, but I'm going to start halfway down. In other words, Tartar history was to be rewritten, let us be frank, was to be falsified in order to eliminate reference to the great Russian aggression and to hide the fact of the real cause of Tartar-Russian relations. And this was no isolated case. In every Muslim area within the USSR, historians on orders of the Communist Party have rewritten history to distort the facts so that the Russians appear always in good light. Needless to say, historians which present the facts truthfully have been withdrawn and destroyed so that the present and future generations of Muslims are forever denied the chance of learning their true facts of their nation's past. Oh my diddy. Oh, we've got your ass. We've got your ass now. The Great Wall of China? You mean the Great Wall of Tartaria? Let's take a look at a few old maps. You can see Grand Tartary in the green and China in the red. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, the wall is circled around China. And again, Another Tartaria map, you can see the wall is circled around China. And if you notice, the steep side of the wall is facing China, making it hard for any invaders to climb up. And if you look closely, you will see that the lookout posts are facing China, making it easy to pick off your enemies with crossbows one by one. So no, China didn't build that wall. The Tartarians did. Oh my days. I'm sure you've seen these patterns on many churches and many cathedrals. You can even find them in mosques and synagogues. Now take a look at this. On the left, you have church windows. In the center, that's our DNA. And on the right, you have somatic frequencies. You can clearly see the similarities in all of them. The Tartarians and the Moors knew what they was doing. And they was making these buildings. 
These are the images sound waves make when you play a certain tone. They look exactly like stained glass windows. When these temples was made, there was no glass in the window. It wasn't bricked out. So when they would bang these giant bells or play the organ, sound frequency would pass through the window and create a natural healing energy. Nothing was done by accident or to show off. Everything had a purpose and a meaning. So I told you that the Tartarians were a part of the Moorish Empire and you didn't believe me. But when I say I got your ass, oh, I've got your ass. So, the Moors ruled much of Spain for almost 400 years from 711 to 1086 before they was driven south and continued their rule of southern Spain and the Kingdom of Grenada for a further 400 more until 1492. Now, did the Moors bring Europe out of the Dark Ages? The more recent advances in mathematics, astronomy, arts and agriculture helped propel Europe out of the Dark Ages and into the Renaissance. The Moors brought enormous learning to Spain that over centuries would percolate through the rest of Europe. And how dark were the Dark Ages really? For historians who were primarily from Texas, those centuries are indeed and are most likely to remain lost centuries. In other words, the Dark Ages weren't dark because they were bad, but because our knowledge of them is limited. But that's just the thing. These are not the lost centuries. These are the centuries that they tried to hide. These are the times when the Moors and the Tartarians used to rule. Now this is the Tartarian flag. And this is one of the Moorish coat of arms. Notice that it's a black bird with a yellow flag. And if you put them both together, you get the double headed black bird, which represents the Moors and the Tartarians. Now look at the Moorish Tartarian flag next to the Russian flag. It's almost exactly the same. And if you look into the center of the Russian flag, you will see a white horse ridden by a white man killing the Moorish Tartarian black bird. Oh, we've got your ass. We've got your ass now. This is known as an atmospheric energy conductor, also known as Antiquitech. Many people believe that this is just a temple or a place of worship, but really its true function is to gather natural energy from the ether and convert it into electricity. Oh my days. So this is why they call it a cathedral. A cathode is a type of electrode through which electrons move. Electrons are a semiconductor, usually a metal, that is connected to something that is not metal. A cathode delivers electrons, negative charge, and the anode collects electrons that have a positive charge. Oh my diddy. And this is another type of building that does the same thing. That's why you always find gold at the top, and the columns and arches have coils in them, conducting a current of positive and negative eons, and they're always covered in copper. Anoid is the electrode where oxidation occurs, and cathode is the electrode where reduction occurs. So did they have electricity in the past? You'd be naive to believe they didn't. So you're trying to tell me that you built this to be a post office? Come on, brother. That's a Tartarian building. This is the central post office in the Philippines. Don't look like no post office to me. And when you look for any evidence of its original construction, all you're gonna find is this dusty ass photo. And as you can see, the building is already there. They've even got a right post office just to let you know what you're looking at. And I guess that's why they say it was founded in 1836, because they found it, they didn't build it. To all my Filipinos from the Philippines that didn't believe me in my last video, when I say I got your ass, oh, I've got your ass. You literally have a town called Tartaria. Where do you think you got that name from, bruv? And don't get it twisted. I love Filipinos. You are my brothers and sisters. But when I say history is a lie, I mean everybody's history, you know? So when you see buildings like this, and like this, you might be surprised to find out it's Tartarian. I don't know who it is, and I don't know why, but somebody is telling a lie. This is the Kansas State Capitol building, a 
and they say it took 37 years to build by five different architects. Okay, let's have a look at some construction pictures. So, you're trying to tell me that that horse and wagon is involved in building this building. This looks like a rescue mission. They seem to be doing some work to the roof, but there's nobody around. Oh, here's some people, probably equipped with a hammer and chisel. There's the horse, no wagon. Looks a bit staged if you ask me. This is probably the best picture yet. I can see some people working, but the building's already built. And I didn't even think the cameras back then could pick up people moving. Looks pretty staged to me. The more you look into history, the more it don't make sense. Let's take a look at a few before and after pics. This is Argentina. And you can clearly see they've removed all the antiquitech from on top of the dome. And where does the clock? There never used to be. I wonder what it was really used for. And this is San Francisco. And they weren't playing no games with this one. They simply blew it up and flooded the area. And San Francisco again. Why would you remove something like that and replace it with something like this? And this is Paris, looking like any other Tartarian city until the buildings were destroyed. And Paris again from a different angle. And again, this one's in France. And they've literally just stripped this one down to the bone. And this is Bristol Bridge in England. And look at that building in the back, looking like a Tartarian castle. It's crazy how many buildings were destroyed to cover up our true past. I tried to tell you that the Tartarians was a global civilization and you didn't believe me. But when I say I got your ass, oh, I've got your ass. So they tried to pass this off as another world's fair. This time, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This World's Fair took place in 1922 and it was only open for six months. But guess what? They didn't even say how long this one took to build. Do you know why? Because they didn't build it. These buildings are from the old world. They was built by the Tartarians. And what they would do is have one last fair to show off these buildings in all its glory before it gets ripped down and destroyed and just like every other world fair they claim that these buildings was made out of wood that was only temporary and only built for the fair and that was the reason why they was destroyed but the thing is they blew them up with dynamite when have you ever heard of a fair ending and they blow the fair up with dynamite come on brother and here's something a lot of people don't know for these so-called world fairs they created a new type of spray paint and the reason for that is so they could spray all of the buildings white so no one knew how ancient they really was and like i've said so many times before the eyes are useless when the mind is blind oh i tried to tell you that the Tartarian Empire was also in Brazil and you didn't believe me you didn't believe me but guess what when I say I got your ass oh I've got your ass you see what you don't understand is the eyes are useless when the mind is blind so even though you live in Brazil and you see these buildings every day. You don't know what you're looking at. You're looking, but you can't see. The Brazil you know was founded in 1822. That was the time of the last reset. The history you know is false. Come on, brother. You've got to ask yourself, was everybody using the same architect? You can find these buildings all over the world. Chicago, Italy, Germany, and of course, Brazil.